And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, she lost her damn mind about that. This lady, right away in the morning, You're good. Straight back. comes out just super hostile body language, all this. You're good, straight back. Oh, he's taking the whole thing. We started a project rebuilding a retaining wall and we thought it was just gonna be a little no frills, easy slam dunk. Um, but we're gonna start popping uh, these railroad ties. We're gonna start up along the street and kind of um, just work our way down. And then uh, the homeowners, I just gotta say, these guys are super cool. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a good job because these guys are just so freaking nice. It makes a huge difference. On this job site, as you watch this video, you'll see that at no time do we ever drive one of our pieces of equipment onto the neighbor's property to do any of the demolition, even though that would have made our life a lot easier. Part of the problem that's happening here is the neighbor that's having the issue lives in the White House right next to the property we're working on and it sits lower than the property that we're on so everything automatically drains toward her house. Oh, he's taking the whole thing. That post's in a bad spot. Okay, well, What's going on with this wall is, you guys might actually be able to kind of see it, is it goes out like that, kinks back out, swings back in, and then swoops in like that around the end. That? So that's a tight squeeze right there. Oh, yeah. You know, it would have been nice to be able to do some of this from the front yard. It would have allowed us to just gently pluck them retaining wall timbers out of there and only dig where we need to. But to help save some time, we're going to sneak it in the backyard and do some of the removals through the back gate. Uh, but unfortunately, it just means a lot of this is going to have to be uh, dug by hand. We cannot undermine that garage. That garage should have a footing if it's attached to the house that goes four feet deep should we're not going to risk it it could have a floating slab we've seen that happen in the past so a, a garage that's not attached to a structure in minnesota does not have to have a footing it can just float any structure that's attached to a house in minnesota needs to have a four foot frost footing but we've seen it done both ways and we can't risk it
Watch out, that oh. sucker will go right through your gloves. Yep. All right, Is you're good. Okay? Yep. Okay. Yep, that's good. Just make sure it don't get snagged. We'll just make sure it don't get snagged. Yeah, you got it. Go, go, go. That's Watch a, that fan washer fence. Yep, yep, we're watching. Straight back. You're good. Straight back. You're good. Keep going. Oh, you can let that bit. Yeah. That's how good that thing is in there. You check the whole thing. No, that's good. That saved us yeah. some cutting and yeah. some dragging and all sorts of stuff. Up to this point, we had no clue there was any issue with that neighbor right next door. It did seem there was a few red flags and red herrings. Like she had directed her downspouts all the way to the property line and then added on to them to actually extend across the property line. And there was just some other weird little red flags going off in our head, but we didn't have any clue about what was going to happen next. Now in this case to get a straight line with the property we're going to use the side of the garage as our guide. We're going to pull a line three feet off from the back of the garage, three feet off from the side of the garage, and then pull a straight line from the curb and then line everything up just like aim it down the barrel. Now I'm guilty of speeding things up in editing, but here's a real time shot of the bottom dig. And the reason it goes so slow is he's got to be extremely careful not to over dig. So while Blaine is running that mini X, if he digs too deep below that surface, he can create an uneven spot down the road. You won't see it right away, but two, three, five years later, you'll have a dip in that wall. So as you guys are running around and taking a look at retaining walls, if you see them where they dip, it's because somebody wasn't careful when they were doing that bottom dig. They loosened up that soil and over time it settled down and it allowed for the dip. We don't want no dips.
most part love this cat loader, but I think this bucket system definitely needs to be redesigned. Well, not the bucket system, the actual attachment system. So how it attaches into the different attachments. They've got two little forks that come down and they're all universal, but cat has their own way of doing it. And I don't necessarily think it's the best way. that sucker up about to do some sketchy shit sketchy shit sketchy shit about to do some sketchy shit up 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 straight up 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 watch your feet i'm watching bam there we go look at that money all right here goes good 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 A little way, it'll come down a little ways. Nope, that'll help. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Now go, Blader, go. They might swing a little bit, but. It's gonna swing a lot. Shut up. <laughs> it's gonna hit the cab. <laughs> it won't hit you. I'm short, you want me to do it? Don't do that, Blainer. You're going to snap my chain. Don't do that, Blainer. It's better if you keep it higher up in the air. Yep, you're good. You're good. You got it. You're good. You're good. You're good. I, I got it bound up pretty good. You're good. There you go. Yeah. Bam. Look at that. <laughs> Doing sketchy sh Sketchy sh Sketchy sh <laughs> So what we can't see is Karen festering inside of her house. She's watching the progress of the retaining wall and it's starting to chew her up. And she's starting what we find out to put calls into the city. And pretty soon the city starts to come out and visit us. Now in these neck of the woods, we're not allowed to dump water from one property directly onto another property. But the problem and challenge we have is the garage that we're building sits higher than the neighbor's house next door. So the solution that we're coming up with is we're taking both of their downspouts on the side of that garage, piping them into a hard tube and extending them all the way to the street. 
unlike what the neighbor is doing, which is she's putting her downspouts on, extending them all the way to her property line, and then she added a flex tube on so that she could kick it all the way over the property line. The thing is, she's pushing it up a hill. She's down here. She extends it out, then brings it up here, and is having water problems in her own house as it drains right back into her own basement. So the lady here called the inspector on us and well, you don't need to be inspected and here's why. So, you know, we got our drain for behind the wall and then we got another one, this one right here, which we're hooking up to the two downspouts. It's non-perforated, there's not gonna be any water getting through there. This lady, right away in the morning, comes out just super hostile body language all this and it's just talking about that's not going to be draining the water from the gutters into her yard and all this and you know blaine was said oh you don't know and was explaining why we had it and what it was going to do and all this stuff the lady absolutely did not believe him she was just like mm-hmm okay mm-hmm all right and then called the inspector and then we told the inspector what we told her and he's like oh all right yeah that's cool looks good and left like <sighs> Now the inspector told us that he had been called three times before and never met with us and never bothered to even notify us what was going on. On his fourth call, he came out, looked everything over and gave us his blessing and went on, but it wasn't over yet. The crazy neighbor called the building inspector again and on the fifth time, you can actually see him come out right here. Oh, the neighbor called the inspector. Yeah, she did. We told her that this morning when she came out and was asking. Oh no, that was right away in the morning. So, the first little bit of this that's freaking sent the neighbor over the edge was, if you guys will remember, our little drain for the wall here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, she lost her damn mind about that, thinking it was all gonna be draining everything from the backyard into her yard. And that wasn't the case. She didn't believe Blaine, which I've never seen that happen before. Um, that was the first time she called the inspector. The inspector came out and he was like, yeah, I've been dealing with this lady for a while with this wall. So 
yeah that's fun but there's a couple of things going on here because she was very very adamant that she didn't want absolutely any water getting into her yard anything like this but the problem with that is is she's downhill and like water's gonna follow gravity so but there's a couple of things going on here that i think is kind of funny that's definitely causing some of their water issues so they got the, the downspout coming out coming uphill but there's a freaking there's a big swale going through here so the water's coming out hitting there pitching back and just going and sitting along the house here's her sump pump but it's just shooting straight up fighting gravity the whole way freaking fountain and uh this is i'm sure what she called about today going back to the not want any water in her yard thing and living downhill from the neighbors so how well the uh the homeowner is happy and that is all that matters so this building inspector was doing everything he possibly could to try to keep the peace between these two neighbors and we didn't want to ruffle it up any more than we had to as well. We just wanted to get the job done and get out of there. He asked us not to show him on film too much, so I just wanted to show you that he was there, tell you the story that was going on, and hopefully these two neighbors can become friends again at some point. It's just a tiny retaining wall. It's not that big of a deal. You guys we are all wrapped up we got the backyard all good and graded for them my favorite job of the year <laughs> That's good. easy yeah no this was this was a fun one you guys were awesome <laughs> oh you guys are awesome like thank you so much we we're just so happy with us hey it's perfect i tell you i've never seen something so beautiful you're gonna make me blush <laughs> <laughs> yeah whichever angle you look at it it's like perfect two crazy updates for you guys the thieves that stole the stuff out of my truck in the driveway when I walked in to grab the dogs and walk right back out, got caught. And it's the craziest flipping story ever. And it's a full video coming down the pipeline on that. But the craziness doesn't even end because then we caught those thieves. I go up to Shangri-La Douche and somebody tried to steal the skid loader, the ASV, off from Shangri-La Douche. And when they couldn't steal that, they did steal my snowmobile trailer. Right out of the shed. Right out of it. Opened it up, took everything off, and stole it right out of there. So that video is coming down the pipeline. Man, we have been having a lot of fun. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun in whatever you do. God bless you guys. Go get them. Hit that subscribe button, and you know what? Commenting and hitting the like button goes a long way, and I see you doing it, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.